Jesus is to them. Glory be to Jesus. He's a man with so many different names. But when it comes down to it, he's God. And my house, we will serve the Lord. Turn around and say to somebody, as for me, at my house, we will serve the Lord. Amen. That is a very powerful scripture today as we read in Psalm 23. We're talking about the faithful father. Amen. And today I want to begin the sermon with this little note. I was thinking the other day when I got up because I, I was listening to a sermon the night before and something came to me because they were talking about Father's Day and I was getting ready. And I look in the mirror and I look at myself and I said, God, you're so awesome. I said, I begin to think of how God made things in such a sequence that it falls in order. As Sister Tom said, I am over the kids. And my husband is over me. But look who is over my husband. It's God himself. And I said, God, you are truly magnificent. When God made man, God made them special. He made them to be able to take authority on everything that he has ever created. And I mean in the literal sense of it. I'm not talking spiritually now that includes men and women. When God made Adam in the Garden of Eden, he looked down at Adam and he said, this is good. And he said, man, I've given you all authority over all things that I have created. Amen. He looked on Adam and he said, ah, you need a soulmate. And so he dug into Adam and he took out a woman. Amen. And the Bible said when they joined together, they are made twain. One. The one, the twain is made into one. You see, I have a husband and my husband, he's, he works really hard. I have a job too, but my husband works from morning till night. And he will do that six days a week. Amen. To make sure that his family is provided for, in the sense that he is providing for his family. And minister, one thing that will make my husband happy, and you can see the happiness on his face, is when the kids come home and say to him, Daddy, I need this. And he's able to say, here it is. He feels accomplished. He feels worthy. And we look back at this year in our society and a lot of men who begin to lose that self-worth have committed suicide. Because they begin to feel that they are no longer needed. Peace. 
people. But what about my dad who put all his effort into growing all of us kids when my mother left? Yes. And that's how Father's Day to give the men in society what they deserve. The roses while they're alive. A lot of people talk a lot of negative things about men. But glory to God. I said to one of my friends at work because we were talking about husbands and men. And I said, I thank God for the man he's allowed in my life. My husband. And we were talking and talking about all the different nice things that our husband does. Amen? <laughs> I mean, faithful fathers that when they bark, the kids move. Amen? Faithful fathers understand and undertake their roles as dictated in the word of God. Husband loves your wives as God loved the church. is half an hour, sir. <laughs> Amen. And this is not coming from a woman's lip either. This is a woman who is very fair. Amen. In knowing that the man takes charge and that, you know, but when it comes to something, woman has to go half and half. Yes. Amen. There is no adequate substitution in the home for a strong and spiritual father. Fathers, it's very good for you to take up your kids, teach them the word of God, whatever. Now, you need to take the, 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 the steer, yes. amen, take the steer of the ship and steer your family how you want your family to go. Especially when 